what's up you guys I hope you guys are having a great day today so we're not gonna be here very long but I wanted to share my thoughts on why I think Amberlynn and wifey are going to get married sooner than we want and why I think this is going to be a one hell of a shit show let's get into it booty beauty who booty beauty who Amberlynn just got her crown back booty beauty who booty beauty who Amberlynn just got her crown back. Bye bye, donkey teeth. Bye bye, donkey teeth. Hey wifey, hey wifey. Mm -hmm. Booty beauty who? All right. So my thoughts on Amber Lynn Reed and this hot mess of a woman. Um, Amber baby, Amber sweetie, you're in a mess. I just had to tell you, you're in a fucking mess. And come here. Okay, let me, let me, I'm talking to you from a friend to a woman who is fucking confused. Wifey is going to take you for a motherfucking ride. And you ain't even ready for that shit. You guys, I was in a relationship with a man who, I was young and he was much older than me. And he manipulated my ass. I was very young when we met. And he wasn't me. We were only seven years apart. But he lived a completely different life than I did. And I was bamboozled when shit happened. And I stayed with him because, one, I was in love. He treated me so well when we were, when we were, when we were together. But when we weren't together, he dogged me the fuck out. And I stayed because... I didn't think I could do any better. I was young. He was older. He was showering me with gifts, with love. Well, I, what I assumed was love. But the entire time it was fake. And then by the time I was able to get out of it, I was so broken that I had to get saved by another man. That ain't normal. That ain't healthy. But that's the truth. This man never actually, like, physically hurt me, but the emotional and mental abuse was a bitch. Now I gotta say this. Amber is in a vulnerable place right now. She's broken up with her girlfriend, her supposed ex-fiance. Then they were together, and they were engaged, but I don't think the true love was actually ever there. Becky has always been a rebound, and we know it, Becky knows it, and Amber knows it. So it's hard to say that she wasn't a rebound, but you take the discredit when they were actually together. Now, we are not damn fools. We know that wifey of some sort has seen Amber and has recognized her and as soon as they, as soon as she and Becky broke up, she swooped in like a fucking falcon eating a damn dead armadillo. She just, whoop, and she's, you know, she started in on the love and the like, and I wish you was, I'm gonna make you my wifey kind of bullshit. That is fucking not normal. Um, at all. And it is almost kind of similar to fucking Chantel in that you know how when Chantel met um uh Donkey Teeth how she was so enamored by him that nothing he did that was really bad was ever bad and what's going to happen with Amber is that wifey is going to do something really fucking bad when they're, like, in the relationship. That Amber's going to excuse that situation. She's going to defend her. And that is going to be the platform where wifey was like, well, damn, I can elevate. Um, If y'all, if we meet this girl, we might meet this girl. If she is a, a size as Becky, and Amber is the size that she's at. Now, if Amber thinks that wifey is going to always want to 
take care of her physically, I think she's got a rude awakening. This woman is only going to be there for you for the means of herself because she knows that you will do anything for anyone that you love. So she is always going to prove that she loves you because that is the only way to keep you around for her benefit. Her benefit is going to be for financial gain and for financial gain only. This is going to be a relationship of convenience, a relationship for convenience for herself, her relationship for financial gain. I hate to say it, and I'm not basing that on strictly her weight. However, at least Chantel can get around. You, baby, you can't. You can't go anywhere. And she is going to get to that point, Wifey's going to get to that point, you guys, where she is going to th start throwing daggers at fucking Amber, and Amber's not going to know what to do. She is going to be Becky 5.0. She's going to take daggers, and she's going to throw them back at Amber. And that, for some sick reason, turns Amber the fuck on. Destiny did it all the fucking time, and that turned fucking Amber on. She knows that, she also knows that Amber loves being adored and being admired. And she's going to do that. So she's going to purposely hurt her and then show her admiration. That is crazy, but I think that is what's going to happen. Who does that? Donkey Teeth does that to Chantel. He will dog her out and then he will shower her with so much love that she goes driving back over to his house. See, both of these girls are definitely young. They're 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 stuck at like between ages fifteen and I would say twenty five. Okay, so they're kind of like stuck in that mind mindset. Um, they need a lot of attention and they don't care where they get it from. So the fact that they need that 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 amount of attention proves that they will do anything to get it. I did that when I was, I, I stayed with a man who like cheated on me and then would love bomb me. But I was like fucking 18 and it was embarrassing looking back. But at the time I thought I was in love because I had this man who I didn't know was cheating on me, but he was cheating on me. And then when I, when he when I confronted him about it or when the girls would tell me and I wouldn't believe them because no, my man wouldn't do that. My man loves me. He tells me he loves me. But that's the mind of a young bitch. You know what I'm saying? So in all honesty, this girl, this woman, this wifey is going to come in and she's going to swoop Amber up. And what y'all want to bet three to six months later, y'all, they, they might be fucking married. And I think it would be a good year. Everything's going to be fucking fine. She's going to find the threshold for Kentucky divorce papers. And what y'all want to bet, her ass is going to fucking divorce Amber. Amber's not going to sign a fucking prenup or any any type of legal papers that prove that her assets are her assets. And this woman is going to take Amber for a fucking ride. I don't know. She's going to take her for a fucking ride and then she's going to spill all the fucking tea that goes on in Amber's household. And we're going to be like, told you so. You can't get mad because we told you so. We told you to not give it this bitch. But you don't want to listen to us because we're haters. We just, we're just saying this because we don't like you. Now, this is the point when I'm coming to you as a fucking friend and I'm like, bitch, no. Quit trying to be like Chantel. Quit trying to jump in a relationship. Quit trying to prove to yourself that you're happy because you're not happy. You're not happy because you need to improve yourself. Quit trying to prove to your exes that you're happy. You, I didn't look. It didn't work out with you four: Casey, Crystal, Destiny, and Becky. It didn't work out with y'all. But guess what? It's working out with Wifey. Quit trying to prove to Hater Nation that I'm happy. But you ain't happy. We see you ain't happy. And this woman knows you're not happy, but she's going to use this shit against you. And she's going to use you for your her own selfish emotional needs, which are going to be for financial gain. And then you're just using her because you're just wanting to get back at your fucking exes. Or you're wanting to prove something to these fucking hater nation. Or you're trying to prove something to your damn self that, you know, even though I'm 600 pounds, somebody can love me. And no, I know she's not fucking 600 pounds. She's fucking 574 pounds or whatever. But wake the fuck up. Wake up. 
We all see it. You need to see it. But we're going to be sitting here because she's going to be with this woman. She is going to marry this woman, whether we like it or not. And because she is going to double the fuck down to prove we were wrong. And I didn't, it wouldn't matter if, you know, maybe she has some money stashed away in her mother's account. I don't know. But I know for damn sure that this is not going to end well. Anyway, I think she's just trying to be like Chantel in a way. I think she's trying to, a, a woman of any sort is better than no woman at all. And that's sad. Chantel thinks that. That donkey teeth is better than no donkey teeth at all. That's really fucking sad, y'all. I'm sorry. I, you know, like, when I met Corey, I was single. I was living life. Met him. We fell in love. And we're still falling in love every day because we get to know each other every day. We don't love bomb each other. We don't overly tell each other how amazing we are. I will tell him because I mean it and I, that's it. He tells me because he means it and it's not and that's it. There's no ill will. It's all because it's meaningful and truthful. This is crazy, but I'm here for it. All right, Amberlynn, get your crown back, baby. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.